when you're given a nth term rule for a sequence, then basically what that's telling you is that when n is 1 for the first term of the sequence, you're going to be doing 5 times 1 squared plus 7. Now, Bidmas says that you do the squaring first, so it's going to be 5 times, well, 1 squared is 1, n over 7. It then tells you to do the multiplication next, and 5 times 1 is 5, plus 7, so 12. So this sequence is going to start with 12, um, and then when n is 2, we're going to be able to get the next term by doing 5 times 2 squared, so we're substituting the n, the term number, uh, by the value of the second term, so 2 squared plus 7. 2 squared is 4, 5 times 4 is 20, so 20 plus 7 is going to be 27. So the next term of this sequence is going to be 27. What the question is asking us is to carry on working this through until we get to the sixth term. So we don't have to do the 3, 4, 5 and all the rest of it, but it's just literally asking us for the sixth term. So the sixth term tells me that n will be 6. It's the sixth value along. n is the term number, the first term is 12, the second term is 27. Somewhere along here we have the sixth term. So when n is 6, we have to do 5 times 6 squared plus 7. So substitute again the n value with the term number. And 6 squared gets done first under bid mass, so that's going to be 5 times 36 plus 7. Then we do the timesing, so 5 36 is 180, plus the 7 is 187. So the answer here will be 187. Just remember that 5 36 is, is 180, and then we're adding the 7 on. So that's a quick summary of how we can substitute numbers into sequence, and some, uh, sequence rules to find out the value of any term.